Hello everybody, it is Monday, December the 16th. Um, we are nearing Christmas. I decided to try like some different makeup. It's kind of more holiday-ish. Um, the color's looking different here. I did like a layered look. So I did like um, part of the Too Faced collection, like the gingerbread one. I did uh, the eyeshadow like sparkle. And then I did like like the cheeks, like the blush, and then they had like a gingerbread, uh, like it's called Melted. <clears throat> they had like the, like a deep, like a burnt orange color almost. Um, they put in my lips and then I put like a Kat Von D Glimmer Veil purple over it. So I kind of created my own look. I do like when I put on like eyeliner but I don't want to like do too much so oh yeah underneath my eyes I did a uh, cream pigment and it's from milk makeup they have like a cream pigment like an eye pigment for the base I did in after party it's like kind of like a light rose gold color so basically um, I don't have to really do anything today. I'm going to be doing a vegan review uh, from this one restaurant. I'm going to go over there, pick up some food, eat it, do a review on it. Um, this place, from what I remember, was really good. Um, I'm just kind of like checking back in. Uh, when they first opened, I was one of like the first people to head over there within the first six months of their business. They're still going. Um, I'm going to provide a link for them. Um, I'm going to order, I'll see what they have, but like I'm going to order a couple things like a drink, a dessert, an entree, so I'll go over like, like my reviews, like how I feel about it, like quality, all that good stuff. So I just kind of wanted to do an intro and um, we will get to the food soon. I added a little bit of mascara, so I don't know, it's showing up a little bit better here, like, from what I'm seeing in the mirror, but, like, yeah, this is, like, a really good angle, I think, yeah. So I added, like, a little bit of mascara. Um, it is, like, a kind of a holiday look, which is kind of cool. I'm not used to doing too much, like, dark colors, but it's definitely, like, interesting. Like, I like to try things out, so top lip is kind of like more purple but let's see all right so I added yeah it seems like I'm liking a little bit better like purple glimmer veil from Kat Von D is on top I got like mascara on with the eyeshadow it's looking better so I'm gonna be heading out and we'll get some food all right, so I'm back and I have the food and I'm in a rich area of town where you have to like pay to park. So I have quite a bit of time left, I believe. So um, I'm gonna kind of explain the food that I got and then um, go into like the food itself and eating it. I actually, well, I'll tell you when I get there, but um, I made like kind of a little bit of an error on my order. I hate spicy stuff and this one, like the entree that I ordered has like spicy stuff in it. So we'll see how it tastes. But as far as like the smoothie I got, they have like all different kinds of smoothies. The smoothie that I got was mango and I got the 16 ounce. So it has mango, coconut milk, lime juice, and coconut nectar. Coconut nectar like sounds so fancy, but this is like straight up mango, I swear to God. <laughs> Not as bad. Um I don't taste much else in here. This is definitely mango. A little bit of lime. Um, 
the consistency is the, it tastes kind of like like a there's like a powder a little bit of a powder consistency in it which is odd I mean the mango taste is there but it doesn't taste I don't know if you see the other review I've done um the Frucoto Cafe, I think, does it better. <laughs> um, I'm not tasting a lot of flavor. I'm just tasting mango with this. And then there's a mango, a mango bit in that. But they, that's just my personal opinion. They gave me a bag, 100% biodegradable, I'm sorry, 100% degradable, um, green safe products, this environmentally friendly plastic bag is made with EPIs, OXO biodegradable, additive EPIs technology has been designed to control and manage the lifetime of products made from the most common plastics used by modern society, so helping the earth is always good. I have... Next, the entree, which is, it looks like they gave me, this is, looks different than I would I remember last time, but it looks like they gave me, um, <clears throat> this looks so different than last time, I swear, but, looks like this, still very good, very, like, fresh looking, of course. Um, they're, char they're characterized as live and raw food when you look them up, so like, really good stuff. Hold on. <laughs> so, um, let me read the description off of their menu for this. These are the... Los Tacos, so it has walnut meat. Um, pumpkin seed refried beans in quotation marks. So they also have avocado, tomato, lettuce, green onions, red pepper hot sauce. So I didn't ask for them to remove it. I kind of went towards the end of the order after they made it. And I asked, like, is it spicy? Like, he said, basically he gave a response, like, letting me know that I wouldn't taste it like it's kind of like a like oh you'll be fine kind of response but like I really do hate pepper so I hope it's not gonna be like a lot or I'm gonna taste it too much but um walnut meat let's go back to the whole thing so it's called Los Tacos uh, walnut meat pumpkin seed refried beans avocado tomato lettuce green onions red pepper hot sauce and cashew sour cream wrapped in a collard green um, so they gave me two of these, so I'm going to see, like, how this is, pretty much. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's like not horrible right now. I feel like there's like a well-rounded flavor that's missing from what I remember last time though. I'm gonna try to pick it up and eat it and see if it's different here. Okay. It's definitely different feeling if you pick it up and eat it rather than with the fork. It's better. That walnut meat is so good though. They really do it right with 
that really full flavor with that that meat like I'm not sure how they season it but the very full bodied flavor with that These leaves are so like thick and they're almost perfect I do have to say <laughs> and I think my everybody so I'm back um, I feel like I've been like charging batteries for days like I have four different batteries luckily I had one in my bag that was fully charged I have two at home I'm trying to charge them both in the same in a row <clears throat> so luckily I had the battery with me but back to these tacos um, so I'm gonna eat a little, just a little bit more of this. Um, it's good, it's fresh, I feel good eating it, and that's like important regardless of like, this is for me, like, regardless of like the price point, I mean sometimes it's like a little bit higher, you're gonna pay a little bit more because you're <clears throat> you're paying for quality ingredients, you're paying for like a specialty thing, and I think that's what every vegan kind of deals with. It's like, yeah, you know that you can go over and you can get like a, a taco from Taco Bell with, you know, low quality ingredients and you are paying like, what, a dollar or two dollars for their tacos, but is that going to help you in the long run? No. Like, it's really bad for you with the meat and then the animal products like what the animals go through on these farms and stuff like everything's like false marketing with these like chickens and free range and I don't know if you if you want to see it I'll link it down below the uh, Morgan Spurlock film um, with the chicken documentary because I saw it so like it kind of goes a little bit more into like false marketing and like how they try to make Americans like feel better about their decisions but still it's like not not as good for you as you would think so anyways back to these so like <clears throat> I feel good eating these these are good I like to support places that are supporting veganism yeah it's gonna be a little bit more pricey I'm not gonna go every day you know like but I'll get into like the price points in a second. Um, I love the walnut meat. I'm missing the cashew sour cream. I wish I had more of it. I think that's what it is. I would have asked for the red pepper hot sauce to be omitted for sure. I wish I had more flavor. That's just me though. And it's hard to pinpoint. I think it's like more of the the vegan sour cream that they make with it.
I'm gonna save this for a little bit later, for sure. This fork feels heavy for some reason. <laughs> um, the next thing is, let me get like a napkin first. I'm gonna have some of this mango stuff. And there's a car who pulled up, so I'm not really sure like what their deal is. So I'm just gonna like wait for them to pass. It tastes like little like granules in here, and I don't know where they came from. I'm not sure if it's like from the mango itself or like if there's like an actual powder in here. Still tastes healthy though. Right, I'm not sure what that was about, but okay, we're going to the dessert. So this is the cheesecake of the day. He told me it was like a vanilla, so it's not really like anything crazy. Oh no, no, vanilla with chocolate on it. <clears throat> so this is cheesecake of the day. Flavors vary, but will contain cashews, almonds buckwheat dates and coconut nectar I guess this this particular restaurant likes to use coconut nectar because I'm I'm seeing it throughout the menu and I think that's kind of cool and like a, a place has their own like flavor they try to use certain ingredients that kind of establishes their own oh gosh it establishes their their own style um this is the cheesecake it like was flips over <laughs> so this is the cheesecake and I have some of it doesn't taste like chocolate, it tastes like dates, but it tastes healthy, it tastes healthy. Um, The crust is really good, surprisingly. Um, the crust is really good. <laughs> the filling is it has like the cheesecake texture. Um, It has a good flavor, don't get me wrong. It has a good flavor. It has a good, like a, it's not firm firm, but it's like a, it's a, like a medium firm. It's like, it's really just in between soft and firm, <laughs> but it's good. Um, good um for some reason though it's not it's this is not as good as I, I remember I don't know why but maybe it's just like some restaurants they start and then they like they're really excited and they get like they're really passionate about what they do and they start off and they get a restaurant going and it's exciting for them but like I don't know like there's just something missing with these items and 
I still support I support um, this restaurant and like I support all vegan restaurants don't get me wrong um, I'm just kind of like reviewing this is a review this is a food review on the actual vegan food itself so that everything can improve I myself want to become better at like vegan cooking so that I like what I'm eating and I'm more involved in the process of like making my own food and um, having it be healthier for sure so I think that I feel like each item could do better it's kind of like like out of a 10 <clears throat> it's like kind of like hitting sevens for me it's not like it's not like out of this world um but it's just hitting kind of like it's hitting high just not like like oh it's amazing kind of stuff um anyway so price points the 16 ounce mango smoothie was an eight was eight dollars and fifty cents the tacos were eleven dollars seventy five cents and the cheesecake was seven dollars seventy five cents so just to give you an idea of the price points that it hits like that's the um that's the prices of those so still this is like in a nice area it's high quality ingredients um i don't know this is just kind of like a review just kind of like an experience of like how i felt about it it didn't like live up to what i remember it being for some reason I don't know why, but it's so good. The walnut meat stood out to me. Like, that's one of their really good things that they do is, like, that walnut meat is so good. They have, like, this lasagna I remember that was so good that I would order. I think I would come here. I remember coming here specifically for their lasagna that they would make. I don't know if they make it anymore, but that was, like, one of their one of their classic dishes they made this like raw food lasagna it was, I think it was with cucumbers or something it was like so good and then um I think I got like a chocolate banana smoothie that had like different stuff in it so it was like really awesome so like I don't know where this ended but it's not really doing it for me today I don't know why I'm not blaming anybody it's just what it is so um, thank you guys for watching. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And happy holidays. Bye.